building. You know that two of our co-workers have since passed away. You know that the literature department has made at least two formal requests for a study of the building, one in 2002, another in 2005, before a study was finally conducted. Our petition asks for immediate changes to our workplace and emergency provisions for all of us who cannot perform the tasks required of our profession. We respectfully submit this petition to you and commit ourselves to advocating its demands until they are met. It is true, of course, so far as I know, that there are eight and only eight such examples. Only eight cases have been found. I mean, she, she said only. Like, what is she waiting for, expecting more people to get breast cancer? I thought that was unbelievable. And the fact that I was there and I heard it, it's just... I don't know, I don't think it's acceptable for her to say that. We know that uh, there have been several cases among former UCSD graduate students in literature, so there are not only eight cases, as the chancellor claimed the day of the protest, they might be more. Because this is the other thing, the study was conducted only taking into account staff and faculty. We don't know anything about graduate students, lectures, you know, part-time teachers that came here for like to teach for two or three years, Janitors, I mean, the, the staff and faculty are not the only people who use this building and are uh, susceptible of like being affected by, by whatever it is that is going on. I mean, isn't a human life important in order to... I, I don't understand why there is so much debate. I mean, I do. It's like financial issues, but I think that's retarded compared to like a human life. And... The fact that the faculty members have to sacrifice their life to be at their workplace, um, I don't think that's human. What I can say is that ethically it is unacceptable that we're still working in this building because we know, we might not know about the cause or the causes, but we know about the consequences. And the consequences are terrible. What we're going to be doing is trying to make available to anyone who wants to monitor EMF the equipment that's necessary to do that. We shouldn't be we, doing that. It's not, not our point. responsibility. No. It's a question of credibility. The How many of you walk up four flights of stairs? <laughs> Let me tell you that How in identifying... cancer before you do something? <laughs> we are going to be asking for a report from the expert, Dr. Leela Kaifetz. We expect that that report will be available in four to eight weeks. The very clever response of our chancellor is to say, I don't have conclusive evidence, I don't have the final cause. Well, you don't have the causes, but you have the effects, you have the consequences. And those, for some people, have been lethal. You know, they died. What we're trying to express to you is that we can no longer be asked, we don't feel like we should be asked, to conduct our normal business. The staff, the people that work cleaning the building, no one should be asked to work under these conditions. We, we are not going to wait for some definition of causality that, is, that could go on infinitely. That's we have right, people yeah. that have died who are among our staff. We have people that have eight cases of breast cancer. We know that. And we no sure. longer yeah, we need, we, won't, we don't want any more studies. What we would like is for you to follow the demands that we've already put forward to you, that the literature department has already put forward to you, that, we, that the Garland Report also recommended which is prudent avoidance, and I realize this is a cost issue for you, but we want you to go ahead and take the ethical stand of, of operating in good faith and making sure that we so, feel safe coming to work without, without the, the students, the professors, the staff, 
the workers in the building, this place doesn't exist. So you need to make a good faith action, take leadership here, and, 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 and restore the confidence in the leadership of the administration and the university itself.